Hello, my name is Wolf and welcome to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 uh, The new teaser trailer came out Now I have watched this one through already with my friends But I just want to watch it again and like give you my thoughts at the end Because I don't want to miss anything out So without further ado, let's go Space suits for emergency or for fun Okay, yeah, totally missed out the for fun part Hooked on a feeling. Alright, these three again. Don't see um, the raccoon yet. So I said it, I watched this already, so I know where he's coming in. Sorry about that. Hotel and feeling. Okay, alright. <laughs> and there's the raccoon. Yeah, with uh, Groot. Alright, that was, that was good because, like, there were a lot of things that were running through my mind as well. Because uh, essentially, this is a sequel. Or, um. Should I say, like, uh. Like a continuing arc, rather. Because, um, but my I think my only concern would be like if they go the route I personally think they're going, which is the business side of things. Because if you see like Michael Bay and everything, those were the business side of uh, Hollywood. Because when you know trans the first Transformers came out, it made so much money, but it didn't make sense um, to make that much of money. And Guardians of the Galaxy feels the same way because like it uses like nostalgic like music songs and like everything that made the movie so great like I have to be honest I don't really remember much from Guardians of the Galaxy except the Star Lord uh, parts of it and then you know I, I got pretty lost in the storyline I'm not gonna lie uh, because like there were so many things going on and then the ending with dancing I totally forgot until like his he did the um, parody of that and I was like oh yeah that was in there that was pretty weird um, like him touching the infinity stone or something like that and then him not exploding I was like what? that's kind of like my ex machina for me um, but I'm sure it's explained in the comic books like I didn't I honestly I never read this comic book Guardians of the Galaxy but I think from the first half of the first movie I think it was very interesting to see like where they're go we're going with it because they definitely got you hooked in with that relatability of like the mom and everything and then uh, moved on into the second arc and then the third arc um, now Bautista is in this as well from the first movie as well I have to just say he does a pretty good job of like doing the big like doofy kind of thing I really hope they don't go the the Chris Hemsworth route in Ghostbusters where he's just like too stupid to to be funny even like that's just dumb for me like personally um, but I I think I'm pretty indifferent, even from the first movie, uh, about Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't hate it, I didn't really like it, uh, but there are definitely elements that made me go, okay, that that's cool, like certain CGI effects, certain visual effects I did like, uh, and definitely this the second one seems to be hitting those same notes. I am just afraid that they're gonna do the Ant-Man thing where they're gonna push um, they're gonna push the Avengers on them 
Like, oh, here's the thing. Hey, you missed Avengers. <laughs> I'm here. Um, but <laughs> but no, like, uh, fuck. Uh, yeah. So I really hope they don't go that route because like, it's really annoying. Like, Guardians of the Galaxy. I think for a lot of people was was good because there's no Avengers pushing whatsoever except for the the guy at the back like he's all like oh we're going to get you I'm going to get you like the guy with the infinity stones I forget his name I'm so sorry um but he's also a for forgettable character the big guy in the chair and he's all like well now it's time for me to go and get you and then takes another like five movies or ten um i was actually telling my friend like wouldn't it be funny if like deadpool just came in this and was like hey guys i know you didn't expect me to come but i'm here <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it'd be fun <laughs> it would just be fun to see like deadpool um collaborate with like I mean like do a crossover with like Guardians of Galaxy because like it's so surreal just like Deadpool was um and yeah that's about it um the raccoon with the gun is still cool um Groot I think he's like growing back his limbs and everything so that's cool um I wanna know more about the green alien Not Bautista's character, the the girl, like, I hope we really, really go in depth with her, so, because, like, in the first movie, we went into depth with Star-Lord, and now, I hope we go into depth with, I think, they're gonna go with, uh, Love Interest, so, that's about it, guys, and I'll see you next time, see you then. Mm -hmm.